we do need to patch our NVIDIA driver so that we can transcode unlimited concurrent streams at once. If we open up a browser and we go to the developers NVIDIA.com website, links are in the description below, we can check all the graphics cards that are supported for transcoding. We need to have an encoder and a decoder on the graphics card in order to do transcoding on the live peer network. And we can simply click on the drop down and view all the graphics cards that have encoding chips on them. As you can see, at the top right, the max concurrent sessions are limited or throttled by NVIDIA by default. We're allowed to have three max concurrent sessions by default. We need to override this in order to get the maximum benefit from each video card. We can navigate to a GitHub repository where we can find the patch. Again, the link is in the description. We can go ahead and start patching our graphics card. We can scroll down and start by downloading the patch tool. We can select the RAR and save that onto our desktop. The next thing we need to do is select the patch that we will be applying. We can go back to the previous page and we can scroll down to the version of the driver we have on our computer. There is a table down here with a version number. To find the version of your driver on your computer, you can simply navigate to the NVIDIA control panel. On this computer, we are running the latest version, which is 471.41. Once we have found our version, we can go ahead and save as the file patch and save it to our desktop. It is a 1337 file that we will have to locate later. We can now run the program to patch our driver. So we will close this and open up the patching program. You might need to download WinRAR in order to extract this, but we can just run it straight out of the application here. And now it asks us to find the 1337 file that we had previously downloaded. So we can select that. And now it's going to prompt us looking for the NVIDIA DLL file. And the way you find this file is it is on the same for every computer, every Windows. We can go ahead to this PC under C, Windows, under system 32. And if you scroll right to the bottom, you will find the DLL file that we are looking for. We can go ahead and open that. And we can go ahead and click patch. You should see this confirmation saying that the file has been patched and there should be no errors. And that concludes the patching process. All NVIDIA GPUs on this machine should now have unlimited concurrent sessions.